Greetings, my fellow members of the Vault. Radamon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Biotech Doomsday Vault. Episode 23, Raider Flambe. I am being warned about low f Oh god, it's low food. What happened? Did we just chem fueled all? Shay, don't 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 do that. We must have chem fueled it all. Uh, well, I will try to hunt whatever's out there, but we're going to have to tighten our belts for a bit. I do have, I don't know, a few days worth of food, and Grice grows really quick, so I don't think it's going to be detrimental, but I'm surprised I'll let it get this low. I think we just made a huge batch camp fuel and burned through whatever uh, food that we had. And mayhem growing up. All right, so it looks like we're going to do quality of life improvements. Which I have some ideas for. But uh, I'm going to close that poll down a little early so that we can vote on Mayhem's age up. So Mayhem is a choice of two different passions. Construction, animals, intellectual, social. There it is. And then also a trait. God, the choices of those traits are really funny. Pyromaniac, misogynist, fast learner, or tough. <laughs> yep. Is it possible to call an orbital trader for food? No, you can never call orbital traders, but I can call um, Naum, a bulk goods trader for food. From Naum. And I'll probably do that because I think that's a wise idea. So, what do you want Mr. Mayhem to have? Looks like we're going to go construction and social. So, 15 more seconds. Okay. And what about trait? I uh, truncated it just so I can type it up faster. Pyromaniac, misogynist, fast learner, or tough. One was uh, Mayhem Resurrected uh, five hours ago-ish. Last stream, but like five hours. All right, it's a bit of a bit of a tie break here between fast learn and tough. So if you haven't, so to explain, fast learner allows you to learn seventy five percent faster, and then tough uh, decreases the damage that you take by fifty percent. Either one is, I would say, like S tier traits. If I was to rank the traits, fast learner and tough would be two of the best traits in the game. So happy with either one, but uh, you pick. Yeah, for the other traits, it really depends on what your colony is about. But there's, I mean, fast learner and tough are just amazing no matter what. People to vote for one want to watch the world burn. I mean, they might be role playing because. Mayhem does run around with an incendiary launcher, so it is fitting character-wise. All right, we're going to go fast learn here. It looks like it pulled up ahead a bit. Cool. Mayhem. Oh, you can't construct yet. I was like, what happened? I'm pretty sure I picked construction as a... But yeah, you're too young for construction. I thought I had made a mistake and like my heart dropped for a second, you know? But yeah, Mayhem can only construct at age 10. Don't don't tell anyone that we let our wee ones construct at 10. But yeah, that's how it goes. And let's also call in uh, Naum. Oh, uh, but not with Kathanon, because Kathanon will never do social. So we'll have Mayhem do it. 
hauling in a bulk goods trader, hoping to buy vegetables or meat or something like that. And put on childcare? I could put mayhem on childcare, I guess. I'd be slightly worried about the quality of childcare that mayhem provides. But I shouldn't uh, disparage him as an older sibling. Maybe he'll be a good one. Maybe. Big maybe. So quality of life improvements for the colony. Uh, one thing that would be really easy for me to do would be to add in dressers. Actually, I'm going to change their location. Yeah. Sandstone dressers. I do think that uh, with them, with Nella and Hyas about to age up, I'm also going to need another bedroom. I'm going to work on uh, yet another bedroom before I need it so that I can have it available. Other quality of life improvements. One we are kind of already doing, which is the... the ability to have meals pretty close to the... Um, to the northern or the revealed farm. Also looks like the wildlife that we're hunting is gonna yield meat, which is great. Oh, hello, compacted machinery. I don't really care about the quality of the, uh, the dressers, whether they're normal or not. The comfort that they add to the beds is what I'm really after and it brings the beds up to greater than 100% comfort. Uh, other things that I'll probably end up doing for the colony. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know what are the quality of life. Probably once I'm not uh, resource starved for food, I will dedicate some of the, the farms for um, Dedicate some of the farms for, like, Psychite tea and beer, perhaps. I think that would be a, a much welcomed addition. I'm also going to go ahead and uh, mine this out so that it's a bit of a shortcut um, to get out to this tunnel rather than have to go all the way around. Sorting the stockroom shelves for access. Uh, do you want me to sort my shelves? I'm not against doing it. I'm just worried that some people might find it tedious. So I'll pull for it. That way, if you do find it to be tedious, I avoid boring you. What was the spacing on these? Every 18 again? Yep. I might have to flip a coin on this one. We'll see. I did sort the shelves enough that the weapons are kept separate. So they're a little bit easier to find. And I wouldn't be against necessarily setting it up so that clothing is kept separate. At least the clothing that meets the uh, tailor bench requirements. Being that it's 95% plus. I don't think that there's any reason not to do that. But uh, if you want it further sorted... For material or whatever. It's one of those make it a goal, you know? Mm. 
Gnome is passing by. Yeah, I think getting the, the boar killed is going to help to uh, to keep us fed. Splitting the, the rice up so we make five meals instead. Keeps us afloat. The dressers also increase the impressiveness a little bit. Not enough to put it into like very impressive category, but it's nicer. All right, one more minute to vote on this and then I'll flip a coin. And here is the second lung. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And then once we have that second lung out, I will start to stockpile advanced components and then take stock on whether or not I can make a new uh, set of armor. I don't think cutting through here is... Yeah, we're about to get a rice harvest. I'm not worried about running out of food. I did let it get way too low, but I don't think it will be a problem. Okay, yes, you do want me to sort it. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna link, unlink all. And this is going to be the colony's wearable apparel. I'm going to put this as important. Copy and... Nope. Oh, unlink. Paste. Now let me unlink all of them first. So apparel will be in this section. I'll put wood here. And I'm going to let them sort for a bit. Also looks like I am running low on hair. How about we only make this one last large sculpture? So it looks like uh, sandstone is running low. I think we just need to haul some of the sandstone out. And destroyer, because you have not yet converted, although that's somewhat my fault for not using this every time it's off cooldown. I wish the game kind of like alerted you when the cooldowns are over for uh, for, for certain things. Would be nice. Okay, so we are maybe one or two more away. One of the problems is I'm keeping Destroyer relatively pretty happy. And Happy Destroyer is a destroyer that doesn't lose certainty about ideology. It's kind of a disadvantage to keep him happy, right? So we did plant the cocoa trees, and then they died due to the cold. We'll keep trying. The guaranteed find is uh, coming up pretty quick for ground pen. We're at 95%, so super, super, super bad luck that I had to go all the way to the guaranteed find, but at least we're going to find something soon. This is pretty much pure mono mods. If you want the mod list, it's in the details. Just click that button. But, but basically, it's just CM color coded mood bar and. What other mod am I using? Uh, the 
the temperature it shows in both Fahrenheit and Celsius. I think those are the only two mods I have running. So, pretty minimal. Still waiting on those Pollux trees to clear the pollution that I added around them. They're like a weird sort of eyeball, like pollution Aya Siron going on. So once they're cleared, I will move the rest of the toxic waste packs that have been kept in cold storage in them. <gasps> we have a lot of Toxalopes. Nice. And Hyas just became a child. So Hyas, you are going to be put here in this bedroom. And here's your growth moment. You're old enough to basic, haul, and clean. Got it. And you're going to remain a colonist. Uh, you are going to need child-sized clothing. Oh, I like your mohawk. You're a real punk, aren't you? Okay. Our population grows. So Hyas really loves mother. Not so much father. Sorry, Kadath. You chose a favorite. Favorite ain't you. <laughs> uh, I am going to give my three-year-old a SMG. Yep. Make your... I guess we're in America jokes now. And the steel spot is... Unusable, unfortunately. I'm going to keep uh, high priority hauling for my guys. Except for the farmers. And. Oh, Thomas, you want to grow too. Maybe I should um allow him to grow. I haven't been. Maybe that's a mistake. I have to be careful about pissing off the Toxalopes, though. They do revenge sometimes. We're hunting them for meat because we were short on food. That also means that, um, shield. Let's, yeah, you're not hauling either. Good. Make sure he has food for us. So here's the ball constrator that we wanted to call in because of our food shortage. And I'll probably want to trade with them immediately because it's very cold out and it's also toxic out. So I don't think they're going to be sticking around very long. Who is it? You, Lauren. Okay. I'll be ready to trade immediately. Set the kid zone for the kid. True. Thank you for reminding me. They were defaulted to avoid pollution, which is actually pretty good. But I'm setting them to children. Well, you're learning plants. You started at zero. You're on level two as a seven-year-old. I think that's probably pretty good. I don't really don't know how to measure forcing labor of a seven-year-old, but I assume I'm doing a good job. I hope. Hmm. Uh, they have toxic potatoes. You know, the price might be right on the to toxic potatoes. They're not too expensive. And it's kind of all they have to sell. And luckily I can float the bill with a bunch of the uh, tox packs that I want to get rid of. And I'll sell my art. Okay, I guess we're eating tox potatoes. Because uh, there are <laughs> not better choices. So make sure to cook them. Got it. I'm going to keep the high priority on haul so that we can pull them in and not have them uh, eaten by donkeys. Don't want donkeys stealing my food. Get out of my food. Get out of my swamp. Okay, cool. All the vegetables are hauled away, and I no longer have a warning about low uh, food because of all the toxalopes we hunted and uh, toxic potatoes that I purchased. 
So here, as you can see, once harvested, they're very similar to regular potatoes, but just don't eat them raw. Because eating them raw, unless you have a uh, improved bionic stomach, uh, will make you sick. Kadath, friend, once you are, you're about to go to sleep. Time for new loans. So best doc is Cam, and I'm gonna have Cam cut into ya, replacing both your lungs with toxic proof ones. So Kadath is gonna go pretty soon to be fully immune to environmental toxins, provided the uh, surgeries don't fail. And Hyas is getting schooled already. Cam, Cam, did you go to sleep? Nope, you're still doing it. Good. Enterprise, thanks for uh, resubbing again. Hitting a whole year. Alright, one of the other issues is um, I can't even haul the silver in because I haven't organized the trade. So this shelf here will be for silver. And... Paste. Uh, these shelves are going to be... Oh, they're still linked. This is going to be for stone. Stone blocks. For trainers. Actually, for items, any item. My dogs are going crazy right now. Up here... I'm also going to put reinforced barrels near the mortars. I think that makes sense. Textiles will go in these shelves. And then... Then I'll wait. Because that's a, a lot of sorting already. Time dilation happens when you play this game? Yeah, I know. I am 100% in agreement there. Alright, pretty soon, Nella is going to hit three and then become a child as well, and we'll need another bedroom. So that's what I was hoping to do. So there you go. Toxifier lungs. So if we take a look at your um, toxic, toxic environment resistance, it's 100%. And then you also have the added benefit of these detoxifier lungs actually improve your breathing a little bit. Efficiency 110%. So you'll actually have an easier time breathing in general, which gives you a little bit of an edge for uh, for some health things. Bye-bye now. Thanks for stopping by and bailing us out of a food shortage problem. Uh-oh. Power grid not looking so good. Got the chem fuel, but those batteries are way low. I'm going to use this smelter for this slag and then uh, turn the smelter off to try to conserve power. I can always flick more of the chem gens on if I'm really worried, but I'm going to try to skate by not doing that. Was this bio? Yeah, it's bio coated. Put his zone back now that he's uh, got new lungs? True. Unrestricted. He's the best protected colonist I have now. Super good armor. Toxic proof lungs. Shield belt. There's also the possibility that that mask will be... Because I have spare masks, those masks will be used by... Yeah, let me just put these masks on Kathanon and uh, Shane so that they can go wherever they want. I'm going to try to keep the children out of masks. 
What did you just take? Uh, yep. 15 year old high on wake up. Because you're chemically fascinated. Oh, joy. Paid psychic droner. Oh, for neuroformers? Okay, so there is a psychic droner machine tuned into females. Unknown threat there. And will remain there until it's destroyed. And the rewards is Locust Armor, Minor Skill Trainer, Neuroformer, or Neuroformer, three Archite Capsules, and a Soother, or Goodwill, a Neuroformer, a Eltix Vest, and a Masterwork Shield Belt. Okay, uh, do we accept the Droner? Yes or no? And then I'll have you pick rewards. So two and a half minutes on that poll. So for right now, um, these shelves are going to be other shelves, and then I'll move them around. Here, let me flick some of the uh, some of the Jennies on, I'm browning out. Hello, generators. Why aren't you powering on? They're like off. That's hello. You've got fuel. What is going on here? Okay, whatever. Hi, buddy. Looks like for now, the except the droner is the popular uh, choice. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull for rewards. What reward to accept? I'm just gonna type these up as one, two, and three because there's too many things there to type up, but I'm gonna leave the quest up so that you can see the rewards yourself. Or not. Um. So the rewards is a Neuroformer Minor Trainer and Locust Armor for one. A Neuroformer Arca Capsules and a Soother for two. Goodwill, a Neuroformer Eltex Vest and Shield Belt for three. And I'm going to have to hide that because I am under siege. So this siege is the Venom Psychers. Is there a Bowman here? For reference, I actually checked the save game file, and Bowman uh, despawned as a pawn. So technically, the person that murdered Mayhem doesn't exist in the code anymore, but if there's a Bowman from the Venom Psychers, I'm going to go after them anyway. Uh, so, my best shooters. Sappho. Cam. And Shield. I'm going to hold Fire. And then Mayhem, I'm gonna have you... Oh wow, you're already in position. Once Highest comes inside, I'm gonna have you fire up the old tunnels here. They sure like sieging me, I know, right? They just don't get it, that like, it doesn't work. I kind of have a siege-proof base by the fact that I live underground, but hey, if they want to try, they're welcome to try. Uh, that's probably pretty good. So as soon as the raid gets supplied... Oh man, the raid is going to be on top of the last raid. That's kind of funny. As soon as this gets supplied with uh, equipment, I'll start shelling them.
Okay. I will accept the quest for reward one. But I'm not going to do it right now because I don't want to have a droner hit me in the middle of a siege. I think that sounds like a really bad idea, so I'm going to have to time it for right after the siege. And, you know, not forget to do it. Because I really want a Neuroformer. Really, 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 really badly. That Neuroformer will allow me to get Psylink 3, which allows me to do uh, Words of Love, which allows me to fix some um, relationships. That, you know, broke. Come on, just get delivered already. Jesus. And Mayhem, maybe don't... Uh, yeah, let's fix this. Don't, uh, don't do your scribbles in a 400 degree room. Get out of there, dude. It's now 600 degree room. In fact, the whole kill box is, like, unbearably hot. Where are they going? I thought I would have been able to shell them in five now, but... Dear lord, are they taking the scenic route to wherever their... set up camp is. There they are. Come on. Oh my god. They spawned in here, and they went all the way around this mountain. Note to self, like, cut a hole through. So it's now 80 Fahrenheit in our base? Because I wasn't ready for the longest... Uh, I'm not accepting this. I wasn't ready for the longest trip to the siege camp. Oh, here's the siege camp. Yep, okay. Let's uh let's start going now. Let's aim for the mortar. Dude, get out of there. Don't be an idiot. My um my turrets and stuff are starting to spontaneously combust it so hot. But it's hot for them, too. <laughs> All right, everybody is going to be put on underground so they don't go try to fight that fire. Uh, Nella has an unsafe temperature. Um, hmm. I am going to set up a passive cooler in here. Specifically for her. Because babies don't wear clo protect uh, temperature protective clothing. So Cam, let's get that built. I don't think we need to move Nella anywhere. Even though they want to. Up, oh, Kadath. Where is... How is it allowed that you go out there? How about we just start forbidding doors? Because I'm getting very tired of you guys wandering out where I you shouldn't be. And let me hide that pole. So I have 15 hours to accept that. The turrets won't uh, catch fire. It's just the cabling that's catching fire and maybe the, the lamps. But the turrets are made of uranium. And it's... Uh, 2,000 degrees out, so I don't think that we're going to have any problem. Really? You put Nella in the crematorium room? Because that was safer? You guys are ridiculous. Camp, 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 come on. One trip, one trip. Alright, so it is getting a little hot. I think what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to open up this door and vent to try to equalize the temperature a little bit more. How am I heating up the kill box? Uh, by burning steel barricades. Alright, so with this door open and the vent open, um, I could also force this door open too. So Sapo, how about go do that? Yeah, we're starting to get heat stroke. But uh, Nella's room, if I close this door, should become comfortable temperature again. Where is Nella? 
in the mining tunnels. Because, yeah, that's not weird. Oh, you guys are trying to blitz your way in. They, like, don't want to come through the, um... Oh, I know what's going on. They don't have a valid path. Yeah, they don't have a valid path to me. And as such, um, they are trying to make one. These guys aren't making it very far. I'm actually surprised that they're making it at all. Given that they're running through a 1800 Fahrenheit, uh, or 1000 Celsius, uh, path. You know what I'm going to do? Sappo. Uh, briefly, destroy this door, venting out all the heat, and then rebuild the door, and it will be a way more normal temperature in the base as a result. So now the base is um, 97 Fahrenheit? because we just vented it out to this large room here. So this room is acting like a heat sink. A very effective heat sink. They are now fleeing. Bye. And then I can vent out the rest of the heat. So uh, I need a constructor for that. Done. Sapo, let's deconstruct this. Okay, and it's all vented out. And now we can fight the fires. Well, some of it's vented out, not all of it. Oh, even the corpses are going bye-bye. Perfect corpse removal, I like it. There's a door... So these two limestone doors are actually a bit of a problem. I'll note that for the future. But let's not build that just yet. Keep letting it get vented. Watching my snow melt in this area is kind of satisfying. Yeah, because of all the heat that I, I dumped to it from, uh, from the tunnel. Oh, speaking of self-cleaning rooms. Uh, okay. It's going to be really challenging to um, accept the drone request with these guys out here. But alright. Just keep sending me raids. Uh, Sapo, let's get you back inside. And make this vent so that they can't sneak into my base in a back door kind of way. So the heat source uh, is pretty much gone. So this room is going to... Like, we, we no longer have a um, you know, a burn method for them. It's actually one of the reasons why I had a secondary path I just haven't set up yet. But we'll just, for this raid, deal with um, turrets. So I think what I'm going to do right now is to try to shell a few of them. just to soften them up before they arrive with HE shells. And then use turrets as a, a primary method of defense. Raid red again. In terms of enemies, they have pretty destructive weapons. They have pretty destructive weapons. They're very spread out. So we're going to go with the Northwest group. I think they're clustered enough that I might be able to hit one. And then everybody else... Shield, Shay, and Cam. Okay, so everybody else should be restricted except for Shay, Shield, and Cam. Oh, dang it. Got one. 
with a Tox Bomb Launcher. Oh, hit another. Almost hit Lou. All right, those are the last shells. Uh, I do have friendlies arriving to come help me out. Nice. I bet I don't even really have to do very much given that the friendlies uh, nearly outnumber the enemies. Nearly, not quite, but nearly. And now everybody's going to go back to the underground uh, zoning. Shane, go capture that genie. We don't get any rep for it. I just feel like it's the right thing to do. So I'm going to go capture him to save him. My allies are doing an okay job at getting the West group gone, but they're going to probably lose to these group. And then... We are about to have enemies coming in our front door. So children need not fight, but everyone else gets drafted. Hey, piggy. Bye, piggy. Probably a pejorative term, but, uh, oh well. Alright, the remainder are just trying to steal some stuff, but they're not going to get very far. Ooh, I see your recon helmet. We'll take dibs on that. Yep, and they're fleeing. Yaroslav, unrestrict everybody except for children. I, uh, Nell is not in this list, okay. And then Destroyer, you're going to avoid pollution. Cool. All right. I did, however, run out of time for that beautiful quest in the middle of that raid. But I'm blaming Randy on that one. I didn't want to accept it and uh, endanger someone with a psychic droner. But sorry, uh, Mayhem, you're going to have to get your uh, your link some other other method. Uh, let's go ahead and um, capture those that did not perish and release them. I'm going to not tend them much, though. Oh, sorry, Kadath. Back-to-back -back raids, kind of unusual. Oh, you're a nommer. I thought this was for wood only. Yeah, why is a peril on here? I don't know. We have a lot of repair and cleanup to do. Sapo tried to convert Destroyer. Nice! What's the cooldown on that? Oh, yeah, let's get Destroyer fully converted now. That was just like a random conversion. There he goes! We are now 100% of one ideology. Awesome. That's good news. Yaroslav, why are you cremating... Oh, I guess that's technically a person. Fine. Well, what about the siege camp? Uh, there's some shells left. That wouldn't be terrible for us to have. 
Were there? I don't think there were any allies that needed rescue. I didn't immediately check, but I don't. I don't think there were any out there. Just a bunch that had died. The wasters and toxers are uh, are not exactly easy to deal with. They get people killed pretty quick. Their stuff is mine now? Yes. I guess that's true. Right, getting rid of the last of the corpses so they don't cause lung rot. I think that's all. I think the, um... The, um, the vents in the tunnels that I have to prevent the buildup of, uh... Dangerous heat worked out pretty well there. We got up to about 120, but it... it Certainly, that is not nearly as bad as the 2,000 that the kill box was at. So, all in all, I would say the defense was a bit of a success. Just with one fuel source, once it's out, it's out. And that was the only real disadvantage. More steel, and nope, not accessible. Oh well. We'll just keep searching. So we have Nella's room all set up. Wow, waste rats really like to attack back. 50%, that's like, not quite warg levels, but that's pretty aggressive. Bait peeking went bye-bye? Ah, -bye. Uh, yes, it did. Thank you for noticing. It's going to be probably the first thing to go every time I get attacked, because it's a valid target. Um, You know... Hmm. Where should I build a bait beacon? The um double strand farm area. So the disadvantage of that would be uh, I could get pod drop rated in there, which would be kind of annoying to have to defend against. The advantage to that is the beacon won't get destroyed, and the materials that I trade for are, like, in my base. So there's some risk and some reward. Um, the front entrance. The advantage of that would be um, the attackers are always going to have to go through my setup defenses. The disadvantage, of course, is that the beacon gets destroyed. Um... And then another spot I could do is in here. Oh, they broke both doors. Northern Tunner. So the advantage of the Northern Tunnel is it shouldn't get destroyed all that often. I think these doors were destroyed from fleers from the fight. That just like broke the doors on the way out. But normally um, those doors wouldn't get blown up. The disadvantage of course is that the items that I trade for are um, inconvenient for me to get to. Because they're up in the, they'll be near the northern tunnel. Which is a bit of a walk. Oh, what? Beating up my dear leader. That's just rude. I'll have you vote on that for two and a half more minutes.
Can I get them back together? No. They, uh... They don't like one another. Tech Noir is such a low opinion. Yep. <clears throat> I would need words of love. Or for them to become beautiful with aesthetic shapers or something. Oh, <gasps> wow! That is a lot of bison. That is a rare find on this map tile. Let's get hunting. It's gonna get aggressive, isn't it? Yup! Okay, I called that. Uh, Mayhem, go inside. Out. Don't shoot Shay. Out. That shot Shay. Only three of them got aggressive. I think I'm going to do a group hunt here just to limit my um, potential risk. And it looks like you guys want Northern Tunnel for the Bay Beacon, so I'll set that up in just a second. Who doctors here? Uh, Cam, you do. You want a piece of me? Yeah, I didn't think so. Alright, because there's such little opportunity to do hunting, I'm gonna take advantage of this situation and, uh... and have pretty much everyone hunt. Oh, with a shoot frenzy. Well, that will work. So, 9 p.m. hunting. One of the problems of hunting them near the edge of the map tile is they sometimes exit. Yeah, you want revenge? Didn't think so. Alright, so... Hunt... Paul... 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 Sweet. And then Shane, Paul, Cam, and Sappo. There we go. That was awesome. That's going to be a lot of bison. <laughs> oh my god, that's going to be a lot of bison. I think with all that bison, next time I have a rice harvest, I'm actually going to switch this back over to Tinctoria, because we're going to be pretty good on food for a long time. Yeah, we'll, we'll have a feast. There's a lot of random stuff out here that I need to haul as well, but we'll get around to it eventually. Still no Plasteel, though. I'm not bummed. I'm not surprised that I haven't found it. Just... Plant Tinctory outside again? Um, yeah, I could once the growing... Yeah, I guess it just... Growing season just kicked in. So I'll, I'll start that as well. Mm. 
Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Biotech Doomsday Vault, which originally streamed live on Twitch November 8th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming stream. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel. I'll catch you in next episode or an upcoming stream. Stay safe out there, my fellow vaulters. 